Welcome back to Charlotte Harbor Fishermen. I'm Brian and I uh, like to do boating videos and fishing videos. Today I'm not going to be doing any fishing. Uh, I've got the boat on the trailer still from the hurricane. But uh, I'm in the boat yard. We're at Safe Cove Covered Boat Storage in Placida. It's a great boat yard. And they've got some boats for sale. Um, some of which were damaged from the hurricane. Uh, previous hurricane that is, Hurricane Ian. And uh, this is one of them. There's uh, several others, so I'm gonna make multiple videos here. Uh, to get started, we're gonna start off with this uh, 470 Catalina, Force Majeure, I think is how you say that. It's a big, 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 big old boat. These boats, the only two I see, this is a 2008 47 Catalina. Uh, you're looking at 289 and 285,000. And this boat is, they're asking 150,000. So, you know, it's reflective of the fact that it did have some damage. It's gonna need some work, but, but I mean, this is a lot of boat. This is a monster. Uh, definitely can take some long voyages on this, live aboard. Let's start at the bottom. We'll work our way on top, and then come back down and talk about it a little bit more. Prop, but that's a that's a pricey little prop right there. Still got good zincs. This bottom's really not in bad shape. It's uh, it's a little thin, but needs a coat of coat of paint, which they do here. But uh, it's um it's not all fouled up or anything, covered in barnacles. Bow thruster. So I'll put the information, see office there. I'll put the information below of how you can contact the office here if you're interested in this boat or any of them. But, uh, you know, the gel coat is typical for this year of boat. These blue, you know, those things are hard to keep looking pretty. But the white, that'll pop right out. There's the uh, a little bit of damage here. The port window uh, had a hole in it. Got a hole in it from the hurricane. All right. Well, that's a little overview of the bottom. Let's uh, let's hop up top and see what else we've got. Really nice big boarding ladder there on that swim platform. I'm not sure if this is like. I can't think you call this like an integrated transom, but you've got, uh, you know, you got storage and a lot of stuff here at the back of the boat. Stern of the boat, I should say. Oh, okay, this has got dual helms. I'm not a sailor, okay, so I'm, I know limited terminology on sailing vessels, but you know, I know enough to get by definitely not enough to sail though but um so you know you'll have to bear with me on that but dual steering so that's interesting i guess i don't know if this would be more designed uh, to do like racing or you know two guys at once or you can slide side to side depending on which way the, the boat's laying left or right i'm not sure drop it in the comments below you can tell me so, so, I, don't, so I don't have to look it up but some electronics here the Ray Marine hybrid touch that looks fairly new. That's pretty uh, expensive stuff there. Moving right along, we've got the. Uh, we'll see if there's any canvas inside, but it's got the. Looks like better part of the. The Dodger and there's the Dodger frame and the the Bimini top still all intact obviously the mass looks great no problems there i mean again that's just my opinion you have to get a survey or you hopefully know what you're doing you can come out and look at everything yourself but she's got a little mildew little little mold and that will wash right off to be honest uh, this boat is is really clean the decks are clean that mold pop up in a month and a half so this boat's looking pretty clean up top. Nice big anchor locker. Alright, so walking through here again, I did notice 
from the bow pulpit all through these stanchions the uh the safety line has been bent well, it's, it's it's broke i should say and some of these stanchions have been bent a little bit uh so not sure if it was just rocking and rolling but there's a whole number hole number 158 catalina morgan i forgot about that so yeah catalina also makes morgan or morgan makes catalina one of the two i think morgan's a little nicer finished boat but right out I just kind of got it wedged a nice big stairwell going down huh first glance and first smell is uh, clean I don't smell any mildew or mustiness and I mean we're open all the way down to the bilge here so Everything's left open. So, here's the uh, nav station. Sit and chart your, plot your charts. Sail around the seven seas. Nice comfy couch. Leather, soft, nice and plush. Nice color, could use a little cleaning, but really not bad. Not bad. Here's a forward berth. Okay, here we got the canvas. Looks like, wow, that, this looks, well, it well, looks good shape. I was thinking a little newer, but no, it's, it's in a really good shape. There's thousands of dollars saved right there. No need to re-canvas everything. This is pretty nice. Nice big shower. Sit down. Plenty of room. And you can shut the door. Some of them usually just have like a little curtain. This is soap dispenser. Man. Shower. Shower sump. Again, I'm not a sailboater, but this boat, uh, you know, it's big. It's 47. This thing, you know, 50 feet probably in length overall is, is very uh, spacious. I mean, normally you feel like you're kind of crawling down into a tunnel, really dark, and uh, you're down below. But this boat, I mean, look at this, you know, clearance in here. A lot of space, nice, light, blonde kind of finish to the wood and a lot of windows even more light can be let in here got four hatch lights there hatches letting in natural light all these lights so that's one thing i don't like about sailboats is they feel real kind of dark but not there not not in that salon now here's the aft cabin this is kind of you know a bummer but we can do crawl up under there you got a nice sleeping quarters so storm damage popped out that window that port light it's still right there you can kind of see i mean so it never yeah it got mangled but i don't know it doesn't look like it took on a ton of water or anything from there but Rock Rolly Tasker sails. Okay, here's your sails. Some of them. So, these teak and holly floors are in good condition. There's your cushions. So all of our uh, cushions for the cockpit. Well, I don't know if it's all of them, but they are down below, so somebody took the time to put them in. So they're probably all there. Here's the master. 
Well, he's got two nice, pretty roomy, really, bathrooms. A lot of space. Big mirrors make it feel a little bigger. A second shower. A little fan, huh? All right, moving right along. Here's the second entrance into the head. All aboard. All right, let's take a look at the business end of this boat here. We've got the build opened up. Looks dry. Again, it smells good. Um, just got all of our plumbing here, all of our pumps. Let's, uh, let's actually take a peek underneath here. Look at some of these holds. What do we got there? Fisher Panda Generator. Okay, here's the generator. Interesting. I didn't think that one was there. We got in here. Closets. Looks like we got the air condenser here. Uh, probably the maybe air handler. Maybe, maybe not. What do we got in here? I'm not sure what that is. Blue, that's air conditioner. Here's your stanchion coming through. So, you know. Just a, a brief walkthrough. Everything looks all right, but you know, it was hurricane damage. I don't know. There could be stru structural damage done. You're gonna have to figure that out. But with Onyx batteries, lithium batteries. Nice big fridge. At the oven. So she's powered by Yanmar. I'm gonna assume it's under this uh, stairwell here. Let's see how easy this is gonna come up. One, two, three. There we go. Easy, easy. Okay. Don't wanna break nothing. There's your fuel filters. And for an 08, this is a clean boat, guys. This really is. It's got a nice clean Yanmar. Ready to tick, tick, tick right along for years to come. Okay, here we've got a Yanmar uh, uh, oil filter that was replaced February of 2022. Is that, yeah, when was the hurricane? 2022, September. So this boat was maintained right up until the storm hit i don't even know what this is probably a i don't know 70 maybe horsepower okay well again i'm not a sailor i don't know sailboats as well as i know carolina skiffs but um it seems like a a lot of boat for the money you have to figure out you know exactly what all it needs 50 foot boat for hundred and fifty thousand dollars wait I wonder what these go for new there's that keel big 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 keel I do see a little bit of you know separation there but a little bit of the fiberglass you know at the joint just kind of cracking but uh, it's something you have to inspect. Let's see here how it kind of delaminates. So I don't know if that's anything structural or if it's just. Well, again, it's a lot of boat. So that's it. That's all I got for you for today. Um, I might bunch in a couple of other smaller boats they've got and put them all on one video. But this video is starting to run a little too long. So. I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you on the next one.